Hey everyone, as usual, it's Kat, and I hope you're having a great day so far. In today's video, I will be decorating around my museum. First, I'm gonna drop all the things I need on the beach. All right, now that I've placed all the things that I need on the beach, it's time to go and get some flowers. I'll be right back. I'm back and I've got all the flowers I need, so now we can get started. So I'll start by digging holes in the areas that I want to put flowers in. I decided that I wanted to put flowers in a rainbow pattern, and I wasn't sure how many flowers I was going to need, so I just grabbed two of every color. When I finished planting all the flowers on the first row, I noticed that I still had some flowers in my inventory, so I decided to place them on the side. Now I decide that I'm going to extend the path to be more like this. Now I'm eating some peaches so that I can take away the things that are in my way. While I was building up all these cliffs, I was really just winging it because I don't do very much terraforming on my island. I'm not very used to it. So my plan was just to like build up a bunch of cliffs and I was like, okay, well, I'll do that and then I'll place a bunch of natural things on top of it, see if I can get a couple of trees there. And in the end, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It's just, I was really winging it this whole time. One thing that I knew was that I wanted to include some waterfalls in this build just because I think they look really cool. And with this one I wanted to add a little pond at the bottom. My island's name is Nature Cove, and I really want it to be a natural island, so that's why I decided that I was going to have rounded cliffs, because those just look really good, and they're natural, so I knew that I was going to have rounded cliffs. Here I took my Nook clone out just to see what it looks like on the island map. Now I start to build up the second layer of cliffs. I end up fidgeting around with the second layer of cliffs a lot because I'm just like so confused about what I would do. And as I said earlier, I have like no plan for this. Thank you. 
As I said earlier, I wanted to incorporate waterfalls in this build, and I end up fidgeting with them a lot. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm running around frantically digging holes, and that's because I'm trying to figure out where to place trees. I wanted to give myself some extra space to work with, so that's why I built up a bunch of extra cliffs. Now I start to shrub up the area. In this build, I use a lot of natural things because I think that's just like the vibe of the museum and it looks really good in the end. I place a lot of tree-like items like the cocoa tree because I think it's like miniature versions of trees and it looks really cool. And I use a lot of those because I don't have very much room for actual trees. I also end up using quite a couple of weeds in this build because it just fills up the areas that you can't place items. Thank you. 
Here I'm running away from the area that we're decorating so that I can gather some flowers to add. And I honestly think those extra flowers just make the area look that much better. So one thing with this build is that I just placed a bunch of like natural items around so that it looks, well, natural. Um, so it's very cluttered up there and I'm not sure if I can get up there and do a very good walkthrough, but I can do my best. See you then.